Welcome to Mobile Car Mechanic. Today we're going to be replacing a blower motor on a Honda Pilot. This one here specifically is a 2015, but this is going to apply from 09 to 2015. Uh, you would normally do this if you're not feeling any air out of the vents, as well as if there's a noise. So we're going to go ahead and replace it because in this case, there's a noise. So let's get to it. All right, so really all we're going to need for this job is literally just an eight millimeter socket and wrench. And um, that's all we're going to need. We're just going to go ahead and pull a cover down with our fingers. But for the most part, you can just do it just with this one tool. All right, so you're going to go under your glove box on the passenger side. And you're going to go ahead and remove this cover here. The blower motor is on top of this. So we're going to go ahead and remove it down. All you have to do is just literally pull it down. That's it. And then once you have it like this, you're going to go ahead and pull it forward. What you'll notice is... If it's really dirty, you may have rat droppings or other things in here, but there's gonna be two tabs here that go in the back. Just remember that for future references. Okay, so on the bottom of this is going to be the motor. So you're gonna have your connector here, and then you're gonna have this eight millimeter, this eight millimeter, and one other eight millimeter back here, which I'll show you after I take this wire off. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and unhook this connector, stick your thumb on the tab, and then pull it down. Now, this is connected to this little rod here. This will come off. Right behind it, you'll see, is a 8mm bolt right here. I'm going to go ahead and tackle that one first. Okay, now we're gonna get the wire out of the way because what's gonna happen now is there's also another tab here. Just pull it down. All right, pull the wire back. Now we're gonna tackle this one last screw. You're probably gonna have to hold the motor as well. Now at this point, the motor is going to go ahead and fall down. Just be careful. It may get caught in the wire, don't pull it too hard. Now the motor's coming out. Now we're going to go ahead and put the motor back in the same way that we took it out. So we're going to push it upwards, make sure the wire doesn't get caught into it. Now we're going to match this piece here with this piece right there. Now 
Okay, wire is not caught in that. You'll know that everything is good when it's flush. Now we'll go ahead and put the bolt in here. I'm going to go ahead and screw these first two here. Made it a little bit easier. And you do not need to go super tight on these. These are self-tapping screws. All right, now we're gonna go to the back one. This one might be a little bit difficult to see, just due to the wire. Okay, now that we have it screwed down, we'll put this post here, and then we're gonna put this post here. And we'll go ahead and plug in the connector. After this, we'll go ahead and make sure the motor works before we put the cover on. Just fine. I'm gonna go ahead and put the cover on now. Okay, so we have the cover here. You're gonna see these two tabs. They're gonna go into this guy and this guy right here. All we need to do is go ahead and put that in there. Make sure they line up. Easier done with two hands. Okay. Okay, and then after that, you're gonna go ahead and see this guy and this guy. You're gonna lock the tabs into there.
And that's it. We've completed the job. Thank you for watching for Mobile Car Mechanic. Today we just completed a blower motor install on a 2015 Honda Pilot. This is going to apply from 2009 to 2015. Again, if you have any issues as far as like noise or the motor not blowing any air through the vents, this is what's going to resolve your issue. Thank you for watching again. See you on the next one.